Sean, welcome Sean. I feel down. I went on a date last night and he said he wasn't feeling it. Now I feel rejected. Any advice? No, nah, there's... It's okay to feel rejected. Like there's always... there's... Every time somebody says no and every time you say no, you are reprogramming your algorithm of life. So if somebody said no to you, or you say no to something, that means you give universe an opportunity to give you something even better. So if he rejected you, that means um, there is now space for somebody that is gonna love you. So if, if the person you went on a date with rejected you, that's like, that's, that's universe they have your back. They're like, Sean, Sean, no, 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 wait. I got your back. They weren't for you anyways. I got your back. Just just wait. If you can wait, trust it, and focus on self-love, I'm gonna send you somebody even better. It's not about you. It's never about you. If somebody rejects you. Think of it, maybe they rejected you and the universe has their back as well. So the universe has your back and the other person's back. They tapped in, the universe tapping the other person on the on the shoulder like, no, 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 don't reject, reject this person. I got a better one for you in, in two weeks. And at the same time, the universe is patting you on your back. Come on, Sean, like, don't take this personally. In, in, in two weeks or a year, I'm gonna send you the perfect soulmate. You, you, you just wait, you just wait and be on a lookout for somebody th that, that feels right. I'll send somebody. But you need to be open for it. So this is like a test of can you love yourself even that you've been rejected and then if you show to the universe, I'm gonna love myself anyways, I'm not gonna take this personally, then the universe says, okay, this guy, he is ready. He's ready to to get the other the other person, but you need to let go of this this thing first to be open for something even better. Think of it as you know, like when people say, "I don't get out of bed unless," um, you know, you know, like when when supermodels say, like, "I don't," you know, like, "I don't get out of bed for 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 something less than a million," like. I don't even get out of bed unless it's 15 million. So you can you can get like some sort of a, an attitude like that. You know, like push push things away. Like if I say no to a job offer that pays like almost nothing, if you say no to that, you will recalibrate your inner self-worth compass that is now able to attract something even better. But we often uh, don't want to push away things because we are so deprived of either money or attention or love that we want to take the breadcrumbs but by taking the breadcrumbs you settle for breadcrumbs but by pushing breadcrumbs away you're like no 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 i were i'm worth more than this no i'm worth more than this no i'm worth more than this and then when it finally comes yes this is what i've been waiting for but the fact of pushing things away is scary because we are resource we are scarce in a lot of things, uh, touch, um, uh, touch, uh, attention, money, resources, food, uh, um, acceptance, that even when you get a little bit of it, you're like, <gasps> yes, yes, I, I'll settle for this, at least I get this. And that then recalibrates you and then universe says, oh, you just want breadcrumbs, here's a ton of it, there's so much of it around. But we have to be <clears throat> honest enough to say to ourselves, my needs are actually not being met. I actually deserve more. Are you an eight Enneagram? Oh, I haven't looked into Enneagram.